In 1907, history was made when the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco opened its doors. Its grand opening was delayed because it was gutted by fire after the famous 1906 earthquake. The iconic hotel soon became the city's venue of choice for extravagant balls, presidential visits, and political gatherings. The Fairmont San Francisco is a luxury hotel on top of Knob Hill and is famous for its Tonga Room, where Tony Bennett first sang I Left My Heart in San Francisco and has been featured in many films, including The Rock. The exterior and interior shots of the hotel were used as stand-ins for the fictional St. Gregory Hotel in the television series Hotel. So let's take a tour of the Fairmont Hotel. So it's a very nice room and we have a, a nice view when it's not so cloudy. This is when uh, all the rainstorms came into California. It's, we were supposed to go to Monterey tomorrow and it's an island right now because it's cut off by river flooding. So it's hard to see everything, but this right here is the um, Trans-American building. I think they still call it that. That's that pyramid building, but everything's kind of blocked off at the moment. Then Chinatown is right below us. We might go down there and have some dinner or go down to the Tonga room. But let's take a look at, so it's a nice, has a, a lot of room in here and really nice bathrooms. Nice tub, you know, everything's older. This uh, hotel's been open since 1907. So, very nice. So we can eat in there too. That's one of the restaurants there too. So this was a famous bar, it's called The Circus, but it looks like it's completely closed down now. I don't know whether that's a COVID thing or, or what, but it's murals are, are famous and that's why they call it The Circus Room because of these murals. They're all through the walls here. They're pretty cool. So they have a, their honeybees out here on their rooftop garden here. They gotta have bees, baby. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of them. They're very cool. So Tony Bennett um, sang for the first time, I Left My Heart in San Francisco here at the Fairmont. So they have a statue memorializing him. Um, and it says, Tony Bennett, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. And I can't make out what the rest says because it's all wet from a rainy day, but it looks like the Fairmont Hotel is what it says. So this is even called Tony Bennett Way, right? No way. <laughs> right at the um, Fairmont. We're going to actually go have some lunch at that Laurel Court right now. So the Tonga Room is down here, is down these stairs, which we'll be having dinner at. Laurel Room's beautiful. We're going to go eat at the bar. Room. So we're having a drink at the bar and lunch at the bar. It's kind of an odd time of the afternoon. That's why nobody's here. So yeah, you know, that time between lunch and dinner. So the clouds have cleared out enough to where we can see the Trans-American building again, whether it's still called that or not. It always has my entire life, that's what it was called. When I was a kid, I was always told, I'm talking about this building right here, it's a pyramid, um, was always told that that was earthquake proof. That was its big claim to fame. Um, you know, that's what they advertised. So we'll find out in the next big one if that's true. So we've seen quite a few people walking their dogs uh, down in this courtyard and the only way to get there it looks like is from the Fairmont so 
They must accept pets. There's the spa. And then here's the Tonga room. God, this place is like a Leviathan when it comes to um, conference rooms and stuff. So we're going to have dinner in here tonight. But it's not open right now. They're getting ready. So. There's some of the things that you can buy that are from their tiki. My mom used to have stuff like this. Yeah, so the Tonga room was once the pool for the hotel. It was once formerly the plunge. Huh. This is when it first opened a year after the earthquake. Oh. New Fairmont Hotel on Knob Hill, used from um, Powell and Sacramento Street in 1904. So they were building it. Now it's 1905, so there it is up there on the, the hill. So, but they were still building it. And then 1905. And then view of Knob Hill and the and the Fairmont Hotel after the earthquake. So there it is, the big structure, the Fairmont Hotel after the fire devastated devastation of um, April 18, 1906. And then the Fairmont Hotel from Powell Street, 1907. So. Very cool. We have a Vanderbilt room because one of the sisters that built this hotel was a Vanderbilt. So they once had a carousel bar in the hotel. <laughs> That's news to me. It does look ridiculous. But down here is the Venetian room. That's what that sign says. And that's where Tony Bennett um, sang I Left My Heart in San Francisco for the first time. There he is right there, a very young man. They have like a little CD for him. But yeah. So this was the bar we were in earlier. So. But the Venetian room, is this it? Or, oh, okay, so this is it. So there it is. So it's right on the back side of the bar we were in earlier. Well, I'll stick my head in. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is beautiful. I got the door in your back. Uh -huh. So that's a stage in front of you. Oh, okay, so he sang it there, right there. This is so cool, this room. And then that's the garden it terrace. It's a bit musty. No, it's old. Very cool. Look at these ceilings. So, I left my heart in San Francisco. <laughs> it's me and Tony Bennett. <laughs> and I'm not leaving my heart here. Yep. You're taking it with you, and I'm taking it with me. Oh. Right down from the Venetian room is a, a whole bunch of um, memorabilia. Some Tonga stuff over there. There's Tony, and I don't know. Is this like things that have been filmed here? They don't really. Tonga Island history. Oh, here's some cool. It's, here's some of those pictures that I was showing you of after the aftermath of the fire. So 
this is the, the mansion across the street that survived, and then there's the um, Fairmont. That's one of the mansions. I think that was the Mark um, Hopkins house. And then that's the Fairmont. But yeah, see the destruction? And the Huntington Park they started, they used for refugees. It's like one picture after another from the destruction. These are very cool pictures. Very cool. So this is just like, they have all this great memorabilia just like around the corner. I mean, you can really see, you know, how these buildings were just taken down from the earthquake and the, and the burning. Wow. This is, so if we go out here, are we going to be able to get back in? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well, why she's still there, I'll make sure the door is still open. So, this is, um, we're out on the terrace patio, or I guess they call it the rooftop patio. It always amazed me how palm trees can grow in Northern California because this is not a warm climate. So. Back end of the hotel. Yeah, so this is where they were walking their dogs. It's a nice place to come out. I love the ironwork on those balconies. I think those are suites. Then they got the penthouse suites. <clears throat> a lot of event space here. All the standing waters from all the recent rains. Had a, whoa, <laughs> I like sunk like a foot down when I stepped on the grass because it's so saturated. <laughs> so don't go that way. But I was going to see what the view looked like over here. Um, let's see what it looks like. So there's the Stanford, the Mark Hopkins right there top of the mark which we're just not making it to um, there's Coit Tower so it has a nice view of Coit Tower See it right there so again they have a bunch of great event space here oh so they have a nice view of the bay over that way see it's been pouring rain and we haven't been able to see all this See the planes flying into the San Francisco airport. But yeah, it's a cool view here. See the bay. So this is the top of the mark. That's the restaurant that's up on top there. It has a gorgeous view. But it's hard to get in there, so we may go over there, we may not. This little house wedged. This is a very common sight to see a house wedged between buildings like that. You know, it's fine real estate. That may even be three apartments at this point. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely make your way out here if you stay here because it's just it's got a gorgeous view. If it was a sunny day, we'd really have quite the view. This is their tower, and then this is the main building. Some of you probably remember uh, the show hotel that was that was based here, the Towering Inferno. Dirty Harry shop. The somebody Rock. Here. Some of Dirty Harry, Vertigo, El Dorado. We got presidents over here. Uh -huh. Different yeah, presidents. 
Kennedy, Reagan. Well, I think I read that every president since Truman had, has stayed here. Or was that the Huntington? Tony. Very cool. That's a, fam that's a famous picture of him. Was that taken here? Very cool. Delegates meet at the Fairmont, San Francisco. The UN. The organization strong enough to prevent, yeah, he was here when they did the um, uh, United Nations. The United Nations, very cool. This used, this used to be the pool. <laughs> it kind of started a tiki bar revolution. It also was funded by the U.S. government to help um, the South Indonesian Islands to bring back a bunch of art forcefully and to open a bunch of restaurants that had these tiki island themes so that it would promote tourism to this new island. Got three. So, <laughs> so what is it? The, I don't know. The, it's it's the how strong rating, it is? I guess, yeah. And the, the bamboo is the right. sweetness. Is the sweetness? Oh, it's the sweetness. Okay. And so I'm having the, you ordered me the 1934 zombie because it's from Donna. Because um, it's Because it's um, Trader Vic's recipe. Uh, it's Don the Beachcomber. It says Don so the Beachcomber. Right oh, okay. Look. We have some music that's going to start soon. And they have all these great tiki drinks. Oh, look, that thing really does float. It's on Skyrim. It's like started raining oh, in here. Cool. <laughs> we could have gone outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we didn't need to come in here for the rain. <laughs> oh, and it's thunder and lightning, too. What is this again? The bootlegger's barrel. Bootlegger's barrel. So it's bourbon, rum, Italian amaro, chili liqueur, passion fruit, and lemon. So it's like a spicy sweet. Oh, I didn't know you drank bourbon. And then mine's the zombie. Um, I make we got the fried rice. I got the basil chicken, which is really spicy but good. We got what kind of asparagus is that? The garlic asparagus and the more fried rice. And then we also got some wings. They'll be here soon. <laughs> They're flying in late. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now we got the wings. But Those I took all your jalapenos. <laughs> well, it's funny, you can still see the mosaics on the bottom of the pool. Well, what were you expecting, a real ocean? No, <laughs> <laughs> but then it was like once a pool, you know, a swimming pool. You know, you can see them. Is 
parking, but that's San Francisco. Parking is really hard here. Um, they always charge a fortune at the hotels. This $75 is just from my daughter coming to visit us and having dinner with us and her, par and her parking. Yeah, it's a um, gas. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So she didn't even stay the night. So it's $80 a night and her just, they charge, what was it, $20 an hour? $22. $22 an hour to come in and um, eat with us. It's ridiculous. So we're leaving the Fairmont. Um, it's a beautiful hotel, as you can see behind me. The food was great. My biggest complaint is how expensive it is. The rooms are as expensive as you think they would be for such an elegant hotel. Um, you know, I actually got a discount on mine and it was like 400 bucks. But the food and the drinks are outrageously expensive. So drinks down the Tonga room were like $28 a drink. Um, you know, we sat at the bar here and I had a well gin and seven and it was like $25. So it was ridiculous. So that I, is the only one of the problems I have. And the other is the parking. It's just way too expensive. But that is the city. That's how San Francisco rolls. But I do recommend this hotel. It's beautiful. It was fun. We went up, you know, to the top of the mark. We did the Tongo room. Um, you know, we basically just stay in a block radius. If you do want cheaper food, just walk down the hill to Chinatown, um, and there's excellent food down there. But I just had foot surgery, and going down that hill and coming back up was just not going to work for me. So, but I definitely recommend you coming to Knob Hill and just kind of hobnobbing.